This is uh, heat number, what, 2A we're working on here for the uh, Formula Ones. And uh, Tim Newbert is back with me. Uh, Tim, let us set this, uh, set this grid for the Formula Ones. And on the, on the, uh, on the pole is your second fastest qualifier. And I recognize the uh, Newbert AeroCorp owner, uh, Invictus, is Tom Richard. Yeah, yesterday was just an exciting uh, race for all of us, but for a race to set off the week like this for Formula One was very exciting between Tom and uh, last year's winner, Steve Senegal, in Endeavor, but they had the time split as they did. It was a very close race, and it'll be interesting to see if the same thing happens today, which I'm sure it will. See, the deal, and off they'll go. And okay, the big flag has come down. And if you look out to the left side, you will see that uh, everybody on the ground here will see the the moment the field is in motion. I think today you're going to see some speeds way up in the 250 range. You think so? I'm, I think it really is. This time of day is going to make this uh, these, this race go fast. And we've already got people from Johnson to get in place. Oh, this is going to be a great race. Boy, they're already uh, they're already jockeying for position in lap zero. An eight-lap race, 25 and a half miles, eight times around the 3.1875 mile course. They complete that, by the way, and the actual track of the airplanes over the ground with a 3G pull in the corner. So they figure uh, 250 miles an hour, 3Gs, and that's how they figure the length of the, the actual length of the race. It's by the track of the airplane across the ground. These airplanes only weigh around 500 pounds during tech inspections, and then you put the pilot. These things are fast, fast, fast. And today's temperatures are going to make some really interesting speeds. You can see that back there, three, four, and five are going to try to find their positions. We're just going to see how Gary Davis and uh, Tom Richard and Victus are going to pull out in front and see with how they're going to work out today. Here they come. There they go. We got the green flag to start the race. Uh, lap number one. encourage everybody to watch those back ridges. One of the good things you can find out about picking out your favorite racers is to find a spot on that back ridge. My favorite is right where they're passing now and walk that spot. When they come around, they're going to be hitting that spot each time. You're talking about precision, accurate race course flying in some of the fastest little airplanes that I've ever had a privilege to be associated with. These airplanes are really built for the speed. And as mentioned earlier, the G-forces on these things are just just the little rockets, absolutely little rockets. Today. Yeah, they, they, they were so, it's such a cluster that we got the spotters down here having a discussion as to which was which was where. But we know that Tom Richard was in the lead and uh, Gary Davis was holding second as we complete lap number one. I think Gary might have had another uh, secret prop he's working on. I'm really impressed with the speed that he's got today. But uh, we have to make sure with Endeavor, what we know about uh, Steve and the way he flies that airplane is fast track, fast track and a fast. 234 and three quarters miles an hour is what we have. Invictus and Gary Davis in 50s Screamer, Scarlet Screamer is doing a great job around those back courses. Smokey Young and then Jethro Bodine and uh, Steve Temple uh, round out the first five and boy are we beating the course up. <laughs> Speed on lap number two, 241.41. And Tom Richard still holds on, holding on to the lead. Yeah, Steve Senegal, I was kind of surprised. He's our top qualifier, and he's running last in this, uh, in this race. Come around that back pylon. I'm really interested to see what the speeds if you're building up those times. Six lap completed at uh, just under 242 miles an hour for Richard Tom, who is. Uh, Here's the race right here, as you mentioned before. Yeah. Very going to be very jostling back in through for third, fourth, and fifth. We complete lap seven will be in the white flag lap. Word uh, has come that uh, Steve Senegal has uh, safely landed Endeavor, and he's down the runway and rolling out. Yeah, that's good news, right? 
Okay, here comes our leader once again, uh, Tom Richard, and, and the uh, Newbert Aero Corporation owned Cassett, and this is uh, this is uh, uh, 242 point zero two miles an hour, and the white flag is up. We are entering the eighth and final lap of the race, and look back here in the pack. All three of those guys right there are very competitive. Smokey, the president of Formula One, Jethro, you know, U.S. Air Force retired B-1 bomber pilot, and Steve in Madness. Uh, Steve, that's his airplane's appropriately named for his personality, so we're going to have a really interesting <laughs> conclusion there on that third, you fourth, fifth race. You said he's a little unstable? Is that what you're... Uh... He won an award last night, but I can't go... I'll tell you off the air about that, but, okay. he's, but he is actually a really good guy. Here, here comes, is a wonderful thing to see. Here comes the winner with a checkered flag is up, and that is going to be wire to wire Tom Richard in Invictus. And uh, his uh, last lap... And Gary Davis was 244.4 miles an hour, followed by Gary Davis, and then the 345 race back here. This is what I want to watch for the moment. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Madness made a great move to go ahead and pull in front of those two guys. If it's a clean race, that was a fantastic final lap for those three guys. by himself up front, but here's the races for second place. we have seen Steve Tyrone, Gary Davis. And here comes uh, number one Invictus Tom Richard from Kissimmee. Here's nice Davis. fast race. The white flag is up. We are entering the final lap of the race. And look back here in the back. All three of those guys right there are very competitive. Smoke the president of Formula One, Jethro, you know, U.S. Air Force retired B-1 bomber pilot, and Steve Madness. Uh, Steve, that's his airplane appropriately named for his personality, so we're going to have a really interesting conclusion on in that third you said, so, you said he's a little unstable? Is that what you're... Well, he won an award last night, but I can't go... I'll tell you off the air about that, but, okay. he, but he is actually a really good guy. Good Here is a wonderful thing Here to see. Here comes the winner with a checkered flag is up, and that is going to be wire to wire. Tom Richards in that victory. And uh, his um, last lap and Gary was, was 244.4 miles an hour, followed by Gary Davis, and then the 345 race back here. This is what I want to watch for the moment. Look at this. Look at this. That's a little hot. <laughs> 